What's up, tricksters? My name is Charlatan, I'm an all-time Radiant player and the number one most experienced Valorant coach. In today's video, we are coaching an Ascendant Omen main that struggles with utility usage and creativity, so it's time to teach him a few big brain outplays and executes. If you also want to get coached by me, make sure to join my official Discord server from description down below, and if you want a chance to win a free coaching, make sure to leave a like and tell me down in the comments why do you want to get coached. Other than that, enjoy in this one, baby. First round, we're starting on a defender side, no problemo. Based on the videos that you watched, you already know what to do. I love it. You're already, you know, there. Now, this smoke you should never deploy at the start of the round. This type of a smoke you should deploy when you hear or anticipate the enemies. Or you maybe hear the enemy's utility usage. And another thing that I can advise you here, enemies can still go A. Basically, we're defending the B set because B set is just harder for the retake and not because of some statistical data that enemies are pushing A always in the first round. And what is a good idea, before the round starts, you can always give your teammates instantly this type of a smoke. Like, even if the enemies are not there, anyways, we don't need two smokes for the B site, you know, like, this one smoke is completely fine and will defend the rest of the bomb site from the actual site with our teammates. I do recommend you at the start of the round, if you're playing this type of a strategy, always give your teammates smoke there, and then, you know, play here with a classic pistol shorty strategy, and you have one more smoke to support this type of a play. Okay, clickety clackety, this is okay, retake, no problem, good kill there. Listen, this is way too expected, especially like in a bit higher elo lobbies. What I usually do when I deploy this type of a smoke is uh, I fake the teleport so that enemies have the mental pressure that I'm actually maybe inside of that smoke. So I basically do this, I teleport there, and then enemies actually think that I'm up there. So that creates a huge mental pressure onto the enemies. Plus, if you put this smoke a bit more towards the enemies, it creates somewhat of a one-way if the enemy is hiding there, you know. Usually when I'm teleporting here, I'm teleporting to kill the plant or to maybe extend my push and try to outmaneuver the enemies and surprise them. If the enemies already planted the spike, don't do that TP. Just fake it, take the lamp's control, and it's just a bit better. But essentially, whenever you're retaking the A set of bind, you should always primarily try to focus on clearing the lamp's area of the map as as soon as possible. You will see, especially in the first round, I'm hyper-focused on clearing the lamps area, and when you're clearing this position, you don't need to clear it one by one. You can also, like, maybe do a bit of jump spotting and then, you know, contest the enemies. Like, it's really up to you how confident you feel in cutting the pie and clearing these angles. Oh, this can end up Okay, 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 okay. These Ascendant players, I'm telling you guys, if you're Ascendant, you're boosted Bonobo, literally. Look at the Brimstone, like, he went into the smoke in an eco by round, where the enemies obviously have some kind of a shotguns and close range weapons, and he's Ascendant slash Diamond slash Immortal, like, good kill there, good reaction by you. I love that you went into Kamikaze mode, because, uh, anyways, in these eco and by rounds, your main goal is to damage the enemy's economy, preserve your own economy, and try basically to kill as many enemies as possible, plant the spike, etc, etc. Winning the round, in these type of rounds really doesn't matter that much like your primary focus should be preserving the economy and damaging the enemy's economy okay okay this is charlatan gameplay i love it but here you see this is where you need to be more creative and use your brain a bit more as an omen player so you know that one enemy is on the b side but your fate is in a really fucked up situation in this b short area of the map with a spike if the chamber somehow connects with a sage they will have higher chances of winning this round we have two abilities available right now we have a smoke and a shrouded step so what you should do in this type of a situation i would instantly do a default smoke there teleport into smoke and that's it i would instantly go to help my fade try to kill the sage together with my fade or maybe wait for the chamber to be below the window drop on his face kill the chamber take the gun and then go towards the sage when you're playing the b set of bind you always have to have this type of a play at the back of your mind teleporting around the window area and using the window to actually outmaneuver the enemies in this round i'm gonna ask you what is the smartest thing to do in this type of a round based on what happened in the last two rounds the smartest thing to do is to extend the gap with the enemies there's no smokes here like nothing right now I would fully be focused on just holding a very tight angle and essentially like playing this type of a position. I would not engage the enemies in any type of a pointless fight. I would just hold this angle, try to kill the enemies there and immediately extend the range with the enemies and fight them in a long range gunfights. But based on the ABAB rule of pushing plus the rule of fear, guess what? Enemies are going onto the A side. I explained you this multiple times on bind. If you don't see the spike, if the enemies didn't take some huge map control from you, if the enemies don't have the control of this area, this area, and they are not committing the 
the push, don't rotate. Especially if there is no one on the B side. B side is so crucial for us. Like essentially, you cannot sell the B side in this type of a way. And this rotation was completely pointless. Like I would just give the smokes to my teammates one ways and I would just commit to playing B. Basically, I rotate only when enemies are fucking up my teammates. They are planting the spike where I see on the minimap that they are really, really aggressing the A side with the utility and uh, with the numbers. Now, whenever you are alone on the B side, what do we do, man? Tell me, what do we do? Jump spot, of course. Like, what the fuck are you watching right now? <laughs> we're jump spotting from this position, trying to get the information. So basically, we're doing this, we're doing this. Or you can jump spot basically both long and window area, like this. Up, long, up window you know in this round it gets a bit tricky to read the enemies like basically in this round the enemies pushed a their push got stopped and then they rotated to b and they lost on b but once again i would play the b site only because it is our quote-unquote default site and a site that we need to prioritize what are the default sites in valorant it is the site that is harder for retake and easier for post plant based on the overall bomb site design so for example on bind b site is harder for the retake than the a site Default bomb site is the bomb site that you should play on every single first round on defender's side, but also on, on attacker's side, you can prioritize pushing that site based on your team composition and based on the team composition of the enemies. Default bomb site is essentially the site that you play only in rounds where you have no idea where the enemies will go next. In Valorant on the defender side, never stick to playing only one site 12 rounds in a row. Like that should never happen in your gameplay in solo queue. Your risk too much you're playing a very huge gamble that your teammates are not actually boosted gorillas and that they're actually gonna defend the rest of the map and in solo queue on a defender side you always want to observe the minimap observe what the enemies are doing what your teammates are doing how can you support your teammates and how can you f up the enemies and counter their strategies and pushes we really don't know what the enemies are going to do uh in this round where they're gonna go so it is okay that you're playing the b side Listen, I need to give you one recommendation here. Two mistakes happen here. First mistake, like, I don't know where is the paranoia. But okay, that type of a mistake, I can overlook. You could have deployed the paranoia and just push here with the paranoia. That's one mistake. But the second mistake is, you will never actually see me push this smoke from the left side and going on top of these boxes. It is much smarter from this smoke to push from the right side and engage the enemies like this. Especially if you know that they are already inside of the window area somewhere here. You just eliminate uh, that angle there. You focus on this angle and then you can close the gap with these guys here. Yes there is a chance that the enemies can also be you know here but this is at least a bit closer range than this type of a range and you have like uh, chances to kill the enemy with a judge with three taps in this type of a range in the first round of bind on the attacker side it doesn't matter in the first round if you're pushing a or b but there is one huge factor that determines whether you should push a set or b set and that is whether you have the sage in your team or not in the first round if i don't have the sage in my team i'm just gonna push the b side it's easier and uh, if i have the sage in my team i will push the a side because as i said like you still don't know your teammates very well you don't know how good they're gonna play on the attacker side and without the sage wall it is just way 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 too risky right now to go for the plant on a and actually you know expect your teammates to be disciplined to clear the whole site to take the site control also you don't know which positions enemies love to abuse so this is very dangerous huge emphasis try to use the teleporter while you're doing the shrouded steps yeah. it never fails baby it never fails literally like i've been using this strategy for i don't know last two years of playing omen on bind they never maybe five percent of times they counter this type of a strategy where i don't know enemy jet or rays or chamber are playing on top of the truck in the first round and that's how they fuck me up but they never expect this like it's insane especially when you use the tp but the tp is not only important to mask your your footsteps and to mask this type of a play it is important to delay the enemy's push on B. Because if the enemies went for this type of a flank or this type of a flank, they will need to worry about this position. Like that maybe someone is in the teleporter, you know, and to delay their retake a bit. Uh, what the fuck am I watching? What the fuck are these smokes in this type of a round? Essentially, these smokes that Brimstone deployed, like here, here, and here, they are completely fine to be deployed when you cannot counter the enemy's operator or if you're playing some kind of a eco or halby round. But in a round where, you know, three or four of your teammates have already a long range weapons or enemies still don't have the operator, that doesn't make any sense. I personally deploy this and this smoke when I want to go for the aggressive play through the window, like I'm gonna do the smoke there, do the smoke there, flash the enemies there, teleport inside of this cubby location, and then from this position engage the enemies in the smoke or kill the enemies here. Almost. 
Easy play, easy play. It works so many times, man. So many times. But uh, of course, like when you're going for these type of plays, everything is about the audio, mini map, and of course where you think the enemies are based on the previous round positioning. The absolutely best play to do with the Omen Ultimate on Bind is uh, essentially you prepare this one-way smoke at the start of the round. Bam! Smoke in the elbow. Bam! Flash your teammates in the window. Bam! And teleport in this corner. Essentially, players in Valorant never expect you to teleport onto the site. They always think that you teleported into the elbow. And if the enemy is on the site, even if he is here or here, this teleport sounds like it is in the elbow position. And there is a huge chance that the enemies are not gonna check you, especially because in the previous rounds, the enemy chamber played aggressively here, enemies play aggressively here, you take a full site control, fuck up the chamber, fuck up the enemies, end of the story. Let's do one game of backseat coaching, huh? That's always fun! Let's yell at him, man! I love that! <laughs> <laughs> Teleport on top of the generator. On top of the generator. Am I speaking to myself here? Sorry. No, it's okay. Go back all the way into the city. Slowly. Shift, shift. Spike shift. down B. Stay in the city. Just stay there. Let's wait for the enemies to make a move. Yeah, watch right side. One enemy flash, 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 flash. Okay, never mind. Good job, good job, good job. Patience, patience, slow gameplay. No need to do any stupid plays. We have a numbers advantage. All good. Watch out, watch out. Spike down A. One enemy remaining. Finally, man! Flash usage! Let's go, bro. We are thinking about paranoia. Love it, man. Bro, the guy didn't use a single flash in a VOD review, man. Like, we need to hype him up, literally, like, to use more of the paranoia, you know? Like, do the smoke in CT, smoke on tower, and teleport on tower. No, CT on B, CT on B. B, 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 CT. B, CT. Hmm? Just go on A. Rotate A. Rotate A. We rot the thing, baby. We're winning this round. One enemy remaining. Enemy Flawless. Good job. Okay. Okay. GG's. GG's. Okay, let's cover a few problems here and there. So listen, in the first round, when you're doing this type of a play and this type of a strategy, the whole point is you hear the enemies pushing through the pipes area of the map. This is a pipe area of the map. You do a one way on the pipes here and a one way here. And basically, you're trying to slowly use the ropes, jump on this position, and wait for the perfect moment to surprise the enemies and jump on them. Or you don't even need to do that. You can just try to peek the enemies from this position. You have this gap here. Or you can fuck up the enemies there and there. With these smokes, you will find some kind of an opportunity as an omen player, even if you're iron. Like, even if you do the play like this, you will find some kind of an opportunity. Like, or your shrouded steps to surprise the enemies and delay and stop their push. Now, on A set, just more off angles. Like, you know, you need to abuse this position. You need to abuse like, this location. You need to abuse use this location, etc, etc. And whenever you're repositioning on the site, you always want to go on top of the rafters and never below the site. It is very smart to abuse the verticality of the A site if your teammates are already below you. On the attacker side, whenever you do this type of a teleport here, remember, if you hear some metal sound, it's always this. Enemies are basically jumping from this location and they made a footstep. You always know if someone is uh, on the box or not. Now, when I ask you to do a B-side CT smoke, I mean, I just want you to do this. I wanted you to do this. And then, you know, like, uh, with a shorty and with a flashbang to go up there on that position. And from this position to try to surprise the enemies and kill them and be a bit more aggressive. Because you have a shorty, you have a close range weapon, you're playing an eco round. Let's try to trade a few kills and let's try to damage the enemy's economy a bit. On the defender side, we need to pay attention on the enemy's ultimate status. If uh, enemy killjoy has the ultimate, on icebox, that means 80% of times it's gonna be an A side. It's 100% times it's gonna be A. Because on B side, there's nowhere she can use it to push everyone back. There's always some kind of a angle that you can play, some kind of a danger. It's just stupid to use it on B. And when killjoy has the ultimate, it's not a bad idea to maybe, you know, pick up the judge, do the boob smoke one boob there one boob here take the ropes and then from the ropes try to get into the smoke wait for the killjoy ultimate to be planted drop down kill the killjoy kill the plant and basically try to escape with one kill in the pocket but even if you just kill the killjoy and you kill her lockdown you still did a great job for your team and you delay the enemy's push for a lot okay man that's it uh, when it comes to our coaching thank you for coming i enjoy my time with you and if you need anything else from me or you want to go with more coaching with me hit me up in the dms bro thanks for watching to the end of the video make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn 
your notifications on for some future epic content. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment to boost the YouTube's algorithm. Join my Discord server if you want to get the best Valorant coaching programs for your improvement. And down in the description below, you can find all of my other social media. I'm yours, one and only, Warden of the Tricksters community. Thank you for watching and cut, baby!